Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be taking you around the Lansdowne which is a three bed home by Bevel. So come on in. So the site I'm at today is St Edmunds Park in Acle and here are some of the key features of the property. And scrolling down here is the floor plan so you've got a kitchen diner, living room and downstairs toilet and then upstairs you've got three bedrooms, ensuite to master and a family bathroom. So coming into the hallway, just to say it's very nice and wide, obviously there's a buggy in this one, but still plenty of room to walk around. And into the downstairs toilet, you've got the window at the front for natural light. And it's a really nice spacious size, it's not cramped at all, you've got a little storage unit. And then a little bit further up the hallway, we have got the separate living room. So again, this is a really nice generous space, it's really nice and cosy. They've got two sofas, a three-seater and a two-seater. There's a TV unit, side tables, a little bookcase, and there's just so much space. It's a really lovely area. So it's definitely a nice cozy room. There's the understairs cupboard, which is perfect for shoes and coats. And then we're now coming into the kitchen diner. So this is the kitchen area first. There's plenty of cupboards and space. So obviously you can put all your bits away, all your food, all your plates and that sort of thing. And then they've got a really nice size dining room table in here and there's a little space under the stairs. It's a really nice open area. We've got the double doors open into the garden and windows either side to open up. This is an example of what you could obviously do with your space. We've got a area for your washer dryer, a integrated dishwasher, the one and a half sink, the built-in microwave and cooker. And then I thought these cupboards above and below were really handy. I feel like you could put like your baking trays, your pots and pans. So I really like that storage space. You've also got the integrated fridge. I'm just zooming in on all the makes of these appliances. Obviously check with your actual site if you're interested in one of these. And there is the fridge freezer as well. And then finally, you have got the gas hobs and the overhead extractor fan. So a really lovely, generous space, plenty of cupboard spaces. And there's a little, little gap there, which I thought would be great for your bins or if you've got a pet, you could put the bowls there. And then you've got this window at the bottom of the stairs, letting plenty of natural light into the hallway. And then coming up the stairs, you've also got a window at the top. So again, plenty of natural light into the landing. So upstairs, if we do the family bathroom first, this one has been tiled up to the top and has the overhead shower. So this is an example of one of the upgrades you could get for the property. But a really nice open space. Again, plenty of storage space with the cupboard under the sink. The window sills are really nice and wide. So you could put a little basket there with your toiletries. This is the master bedroom. Again, I think it's a really nice generous space. They've got the double bed, two bedside tables, and the built-in wardrobe, and it doesn't feel cramped. There's a lot of room around the bed, so I feel like you could definitely fit a king-size bed in here as well. Depending on the site, it will depend if you get the built-in wardrobes or not, so definitely check that. But I think it's really handy to see that you can fit a wardrobe into this space with the bed as well. And then it's also got the radiator under the window. I think this is a really beautiful space, really nice and calming. And then if I just take you into the ensuite, again, I feel like this is a really decent space. It doesn't feel squished in, um, like there's plenty of room around the toilet, you've got that little shelf for storage. You've got a nice shower with the sliding glass doors. And even under the sink, you could pop a little storage unit there or some just some baskets for your towels, your toiletries. I think it's a really lovely space. Back onto the landing, there is a cupboard over the stairs. This houses the boiler. But I think if you put some shelves in, that would be a perfect space for your towels, your bed linen, all that sort of things. So we're now in the second bedroom and I have to say I was quite shocked by how large the second bedroom was. 
They've got the double bed, bedside tables, a little unit and a chair. And again, it doesn't feel cramped. You can easily walk around. So I feel that you could easily put a wardrobe in here. It will be set up beautifully as a spare bedroom like this, or it could be a really nice sized child's bedroom. It was a really generous space. I was actually quite shocked about that. And then finally, I'm taking you into the third bedroom. So this is the smallest bedroom out of the three, but they've got the single bed, the shelving unit, and it's also got a desk set up. So I think, again, this is a really nice generous space for a third bedroom. It could easily be a home office, a second child's bedroom, a nursery. You know, it's a really nice space that you could kind of very much make your own and do what you want with it. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.